Okay. We're ready to start. Your ring. Your ring symbolizes your core. So every time we squeeze this ring, whether it's with our hands, our legs, our feet, the core is going to be engaged. Okay, so we need to keep that in mind. All right, so we're going to start sitting on our mat. And when you have your hands on the pads of the ring, it should be heel of the hand on. That's the strongest part of your hand. And for most part, the fingers <coughs> reach along because we're always trying to lengthen in Pilates. Okay? So we take that ring, we place it halfway down that shin, and we push just gently into the shins to zip our spine up taller. And as our spine is going taller, the shoulders are just sinking more into the rib cage. To draw the, the C curve position to our spine, all you do is you draw your chin to your chest, you push your navel in, that's your C curve. And then keeping the ring right where it is, just come back away from that ring, rounding your spine more. Then we'll press down to the ring to zip our spine right back up. We're gonna exhale, chin to chest, scoop the belly and just Round. Feel like you're molding your spine inside a tire. Then we push down into the ring to zip up, up, up. That's an inhale. And then the exhale is the C curve down. We'll just do two more. Inhale, the head comes up last, in line with the rest of the spine. We exhale down. And one more. We inhale, zip it up. And then Exhale, hold. Now, take that ring off your shins. My arms are parallel to the floor. I'm going to come back a little further, staying inside that tire. So all of a sudden, I didn't straighten my spine. I'm still rounded. Then I'm going to press into the ring. As I come back another inch, I'm going to pause. My shoulders are melted. I come back another inch. Now, this is on a place where you can stay for a minute, then get to the spot where you can. I want you to rotate your ring towards me, towards your screen, nice and slow. And then bring it back to center. And then rotate it away. I'm following my ring. And then back to center. And towards me again. Inhale, keep your sitting bones equally on that mat. Exhale, center. And inhale. To exhale. And I'm going to start to sit my spine back up tall. And my ring is going to come all the way up. From here, slide that ring towards the head, like you're putting on a halo, and then bring it back up while you're maintaining that tall spine. I'm going to gently press into my ring as I bring it down, and then reach it up and release the pressure. And then pull it down. Again, when I'm pressing into my ring, my core is pulling in and up. And I'm trying to sit as tall as I can. I lower it down for two, and I bring it up for two, and one more. I'm going to inhale. Two, exhale. Start to see curve back again. Reach that ring back out to chest height. Melt the shoulders. So remember, it's chin to chest. Push that navel back. All over again. Twist towards me. Inhale. Two, exhale. Inhale. Two, exhale. Stack your spine. Inhale. Two, exhale. Pull it down like your halo. Bring it back up. Reach the arms long, tuck your tail and round. Here's our pattern. Inhale to me. Exhale home. Inhale away from me. Exhale home. Inhale up. Two exhale. Pull that ring down. Inhale. Two exhale. Inhale. Scoop back. Two exhale. Reach that ring to me. Inhale. Two exhale. Reach it away. Inhale. Two, exhale. Step up, 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 up. Pull it down. Reach it back up. And then can you take the ring back onto your shin where we started? Ah, so again, check in. Press into that ring. See if we're still maintaining that nice tall spine. Reach it parallel to the floor again. <clears throat> Press gently into the ring. Inhale first. Exhale, come back an inch. And release the pressure from the ring. Inhale again, stay where you are. Exhale, press into the ring, come back another inch. If this is hurting your back, please just lay all the way down. Inhale here. Exhale, press into the ring. 
Inhale, melt those shoulders. Tuck that tail, exhale. Inhale, to exhale. Then we'll do one more. Inhale, to exhale all the way down. Straighten your legs and reach those arms behind you. Ah, that was one so bad. And then with control, bring those arms all the way back up. Then we'll take my legs closer together. I'm going to reach that ring behind me again, and as I bring it back up, slide your right foot in. And then lengthen the leg back out and the ring. And then my left leg is going to bend as I slide my heel towards my glutes. And I reach it back out on an inhale. Exhale to my right foot sliding. And bring it back out, inhale. Now exhale, I want you just taking the foot in and out. I want you to feel the belly, the back of the leg, the arms. Now this time, I'm gonna try and take two feet. So I'm gonna draw those feet in and slide them back out, inhale. Exhale, belly goes in deeper. Inhale, back. Exhale, in. Inhale, this is my last one. Two, exhale. Shoulders are mounted. I'm going to take my legs and my feet one fist width apart. There's a glass of water on your pelvis. Dump it onto your belly button so your tail gets real light. Now continue peeling yourself up off that mat. And as you're coming up, your shoulders are pushing down. Now retrace your steps. I first lower the chest. My neck is staying relaxed, then the rib cage. So I can close my eyes, I can visualize each vertebrae coming down onto that mat. Try that again. Tuck your tail. Seat comes up first, then belly button, ribs, chest and shoulders are opening. Good. And then bring it back down, jelly press into the ring for five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Reach the ring towards your screen and your knees go away from your screen. Yeah. Yes. And use your abdominals to bring it back up. And then reverse. You always follow the ring and the knees always go away from the ring. And then bring it back up. Draw those knees in and place the ring between the ankles. Now, if you're still a beginner to Pilates, I would suggest you keep your feet down with the ring tight. Next level, you can try tabletop, but you don't want to have an arch going on in your back. So you've got to put that bowling ball on your torso, okay? Of course, this way I'm going further away from my center is harder, but you can have that option if that is your level, okay? But I cue eyes to belly if you have a neck issue or you're new to Pilates, please keep your head on the mat. So I'm going to inhale here. Then I'm going to exhale, melt my chin to my chest, reach my fingertips longer towards my mat. You're going to pick your poison where your legs want to be. Arms hover on that mat. If your head is lifted, shoulders off the mat. And we start to pump. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, ten. Inhale, keep that ring tight. And exhale. Test the waters. If that's not challenging you enough, try to lower those legs a little bit more but you don't want to feel strain to your back, your neck, or your hips. I want you to feel this armpit muscle firing to move these arms, as well as the muscles in the back of the arms. Anybody counting? Okay, I'm gonna say we're gonna get 50. Inhale, and exhale, 60. Through the nose we go in, through the lips we go out. Inhale, and exhale, good. Inhale, and exhale. And one more, inhale, to exhale, and then hug it in. Shake that head no, you don't want to quit. Stay where you are. And just gently rock side to side. Just gently rock it, just side to side. Nice and easy, massaging your kidneys and your spine. Mm -hmm. How's that feel? Should feel pretty good. Okay, so grab onto your ring. I can't seem to get the right positioning here today. Grab onto your ring and walk yourself up. All right, so I want you to take that ring onto the floor by your feet. 
I want to have that brain nice and flat. Okay, nice and flat. We're going to press into it. My feet are flexed. And my arms are reaching parallel to the floor. My shoulders are connecting. And you know, we really need to start paying attention to our necks a little bit. We might think we have our neck in alignment, but we could be forward. So you're gonna make sure, I almost feel like, and I want you to give yourself a second chin, but you almost feel like you're pulling that head back, right? So I'm gonna tuck my tail, round my spine, press into my ring, and bring it all the way down. Now remember, I always say, if you know you can't come back up, don't go all the way down. All right, so here we go, my first roll up for the morning. Eyes to belly, inhale, find that lower back, press into your ring, exhale, up, and over. Now, you should have some space here in that rib cage. You shouldn't be compressed. It's up and over. Start to bring it back, melt those shoulders, tuck your tail, press into the ring, the abdominal support, or the inner thighs support the abdominals. And again, inhale, press, exhale, all the air out. I should hear you breathing. And then bring it back, keep that ring tight. Feel those inner thighs giving some support. Tuck that booty. Boom, 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 boom. Don't rush it. Think of eight counts up. Count one, lift up one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come back. Stay inside that canister. Seven. Melt those shoulders. Better. Four, three, two. Last one. Here we go. No momentum. Momentum will not get you stronger. It might get you up, but it won't get you stronger. Good. From here, reach as far forward as you can and grab around the inside or outside of those feet. Push that navel back. And not only do you feel a stretch in the back of your legs, but you feel it in the upper back. Good. So grab onto that ring, which is right here in front of you. <clears throat> Connect your lower back to the wall behind you and start to Carefully and slowly, start to bring that spine up nice and tall. I want you to bend your elbows and draw the ring towards your torso. And feel like your chest is going through that ring. So come more forward. Ah, now press out. Now you're in alignment better. And again, draw the chest through the ring. I'm pressing that ring gently and then take it back out. If this is hard for you and truly so hard for you to sit up tall, try softening your knees, right? Or I always say to you, when you're sitting like this, roll up your mat and sit on top of it. But you want to feel like the ceiling is going to start to come down and you're holding it up with your head. Inhale, to exhale. And give me one more, please. We go into an inhale and to an exhale. I'm going to soften my knees. I'm going to sweep a little more forward. Make sure you have room behind you. Press into your ring and bring it all the way down. Five, four, three. Two and one. Tabletop, one leg at a time. So I lift it up and make sure my core is engaged to bring the other leg up safely. So if this hurts your back, you can draw your knees closer towards you. That will give you more support to that lower back. You can also keep your feet down. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to tap my right toes down for two and draw up for two from my core. My left toes will come down for two. And up. Where are those shoulders? I caught mine. They're kind of lifted like this. So I'm like, ooh, make sure he's resting on that mat. And the left leg. So I'm going to add on with that ring. As I tap my right toes, I'm going to reach the ring diagonal. Come back up. Left toes. Inhale as I come back. Exhale up. So when you're reaching back like this, your spine may want to arch off the mat. And I want you to keep it the same way it is here. Next level, two feet. Reach, come in. Now, if your pelvis goes with you on the down, don't go all the way down to your mat. Control it, focus, feel that center, feel the power, feel the control. Inhale, two exhale, two more. Inhale, two exhale, one more. One more variation. I'm back to my tabletop, the ring straight up. Instead of tapping my toes, 
I'm going to reach that leg long and come back in. And my other leg is going to reach long. So this is harder. This is harder to control the back and the center, right? Because the longer my lever, the more my body's going to want to arch and go with me, right? So if that's not for you, where should you be? Tapping the toes, right? And reach. Good. And inhale. We're going to add on exhale. And inhale. And exhale. The ring is on my shins. If you are not new to Pilates and you don't have any issues with your neck, I'm going to say nod the chin to your chest, eyes to belly. If not, you keep your head on the mat. Okay? Reach that arm or both arms diagonally. Draw those knees closer. Press your left leg out for single leg stretch. And then switch, 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 and Inhale, where should your ring be? Reaching in front of you, reaching for that ring. And if your head is up, I don't want you to have your neck parallel to the floor, but eyes to the navel. We inhale, two, and exhale, two. I'm gonna press into my ring with each repetition. Inhale, and exhale. One more time, inhale, and exhale. Hug it in, take that head down. If you feel strained, shake your head no. Take the feet through the ring. My legs are still bent, but I'm gonna press the sides of my shins on the inside of those pads, okay? I'm gonna pull those knees in, my back says, okay, nice and heavy, it feels good, it feels safe. If you want, eyes to belly, and we're gonna go to a double leg stretch. We're gonna reach two, three, first move the arms, then reach the hands for the pads. And I lengthen away, hold, two, three, circle, then bring it in. Inhale, two, three, two, exhale. If your back is saying, mm, try straight up, two, three, circle in. So here's a modification. Not as hard on my body because I'm not going as far away. Two more. Press against that ring, two, three, circle, then bring it in. And one more. Inhale. Inhale, inhale, two, exhale, head comes down. Turn that ring and place your right toes on one of the pads. Okay, I'm gonna zip that leg straight up and the other leg is gonna press out. And what I'm gonna do with this ring is I'm gonna pull on this leg two times. One, two, I'm gonna keep the ring there. My feet will switch, boom. I pull that towards me. One, two, switch. Pull, pull, switch, pull, pull. If you want, eyes to belly. Boom, boom, switch, pull, pull. Watch that back. If you have pain during class, you're going out the door with that pain. More than likely. Boom, boom, switch, shh, shh. Inhale, exhale. Try straighten those legs even more. One more as you on your first leg. Freeze. Put your head down. Press that foot into that pad. Yes. At the same time, feel that hip and the sitting bone going down. Okay, let's try to climb a tree. You never know how well it's going to go. Eyes to belly. Find that lower back. And bring yourself up. Now I'm going to bend my elbows. Pull that leg closer up and start to wheel it back down. My arms are going to straighten and I bring it all the way down. Or maybe I'm hovering because I know I can't come back up. Eyes to belly, inhale, two, exhale. Pull it towards you, roll it away. Take your time, lengthen the opposite leg, lengthen it, lengthen it, lengthen it, lengthen it. And let's just do one more. Eyes to belly, inhale. Wait for me, class. <laughs> See, sometimes I don't, I don't come up. See? The perfect example. Instructors aren't perfect. Bring it down. Four, three, two, and one. Now, the right foot has the ring. Put your right hand on the other pad. Both legs are straight. And reach your left arm out like a T. Let this right leg fall out to your right. The left hip cannot go even a half a millimeter off that mat. 
feel anchor in down, and I'm pushing into that ring. My core is engaged, of course, this is Pilates. Pull yourself back up, switch the hand, other arm goes out, look to that flat arm, and then take it across your body. Keep the rib cage, fold in, let the shoulders relax. There's no rule how far you need to go. Just feel the stretch in the IT band, and then bring it back up. Good, and the other foot's gonna come in, and this leg comes out, and we'll climb our tree. All right, so is this our better side? I don't know, let's see. Eyes to belly, inhale. Yeah, so a little momentum there when I was coming up, I know. Roll it towards you, and then roll it back. Take your time. But don't you love it when your instructor doesn't do everything perfect? You're like, okay, that's right, she has struggle too. <laughs> I thought so. A high to belly, inhale. <laughs> yeah. So exhale. Ah. Pull it towards you. Reach it away. Keep the opposite leg lengthening along. Watch those shoulders. Come down easy, not a ton of bricks. Eyes to belly, inhale. To exhale. Bring it back. So yeah, I know at the very top, I probably have a little bit of momentum, but you don't want to start with momentum. So you don't want to go like this because I felt nothing, right? So I struggle. I come up and right about here is like, okay, I can't go now. I give myself a little bit of start. And then pull it towards you. And then melt it away. Keep the other leg nothing and long. Tuck that tail, scoop that belly. And then once I'm all the way down, my left foot's still in the ring. My left hand goes on the ring and my right arm goes out with the T. I'm gonna put that folding ball on my right hip and then let that leg go out to the side. Only as far as this hip can stay anchored in this shoulder. Push through that ring, lengthen, and then bring it back up. Other hand, look away from the ring. Reach, reach. Reach, press into that ring, press into that ring. Oh boy. Bring it back up. And let's put two feet in that ring. Two feet. Legs over the hips as much as we can. And I'm going to pull down, flex my heels so I feel that stretch back here and point my toes. And flex two, three, point, two, three. So we were working on the abs series, and the last one we just completed was the scissors. So we're going to do double straight leg, lower left. And I want you now to take the ring between the ankles. And we're going to do the squeezing of the ring two different ways. So I zip my legs up. I'm in a Pilates stance. My heels are turned in, toes turned out. Back issues, please put your hands underneath your seat to provide a little cushion for it. Okay? All right. If you're keeping your head down, you can have the hands underneath your seat. If you're taking your head up, I would say hands behind the head. Okay? All right. So I'm going to inhale. Nothing. Exhale, curl it up. So I'm going to go down, 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 squeeze the ring to come up. Inhale, 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 squeeze the ring to come up. Elbows are wide, shoulders are off the mat if your head is up. So I'm squeezing on the way up. One more, down, 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 squeeze. Now, I'm going to squeeze on the way down. Down, two, three, release it. Squeeze into the ring, two, three, release it. And one, two, three, and one more. And squeeze, 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 hug those knees in, keep the ring where it is. And really drive those knees towards you to feel a nice release in those little back pockets. Crisscross is next. So I think even if you um, usually keep your head down, you'd be okay with this one, unless you know you can't have your head lifted, but your head is actually going to rest in the fingertips. So I'm going to take my hands behind my head. So try not to be a head hugger when your elbows go like this. We're going to try and keep them in a straight line. We're going to inhale with our head on the mat, exhale, curl up, my knees are still way in. So I'm going to take my elbow away from my screen and twist it towards my screen. And when I come back to center, I'm going to push my legs out. That's only if you're okay doing that. Come back in, the opposite arm twists over, come back to center and reach. So I'm going to exhale, twist, inhale, and and reach, and rotate. 
Try not to have that elbow that's behind you curling towards your head. Try to keep in a straight line. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Last one. And feet down, head down, arms go to your side. Gently press into that ring. Reach your fingertips towards your heels so you feel nice and length out of the shoulder area. We're going to do another bridge. We're going to tuck that tail and we're going to bridge up. We're going to press through the entire foot. Shoulders push down, belly's pulling in, glutes are firing, hips are lifting, opening, and articulate down. And feel like the neck is staying nice and relaxed and nice and long. And the tail is going to keep reaching nice and long as you lower. Tuck that pelvis, curl it up. As an inhale, shoulders come down, keep that ring tight. And then exhale, and feel those fingertips gliding towards your heels. So let's just do one more of those. And we're going to lift up and tuck, scoop that belly. Back of the arms are pushing down, shoulders pushing down, your neck has no pressure on it. Then we turn back home, <laughs> bless you, bless you. and reach those fingertips towards those heels. Hug it in. Ah. Take that, take the hands inside the ring and rock yourself up. And here I am pressing against my ring. Yep. Take those legs and wide your mat. If this is not a good position for your shoulders, your arms, don't use the ring. Okay. I'm going to inhale up. Exhale, peel off the imaginary wall. My lower back is staying against that wall. My navel is pushing back deeper. Now pinch your sitting bones, draw that navel in deeper, and zip it up as you inhale. Exhale, chin to chest, scoop, and reach. And then. Pull it up. You should not go any strain in that back. You have a lot of power in your core. And bring it forward. So if you're leaning back, you're not going to be having your spine stack the way we are here. You're going to be straight up and down. If we're leaning back like this, you're going to feel pressure in those abdominals. Here's where you should be. Last one. Exhale forward. Reach, reach, reach. Flex those feet. Inhale up. Exhale, turn your ring, place it in front of you, and reach those arms along. Connect your shoulders to your back and the back of your head with the rest of your spine. I'm going to round forward again. My ring is going to go diagonal. I'm going to hold this here for a second. Don't collapse the core. Suck it in and up, yes. Now those armpit muscles are going to fire as I gently press into my ring and then release. And remember, we said that every time we squeeze that ring, it's our core. So not only am I squeezing those armpit muscles, but I'm also squeezing that belly. And it's just a gentle press. And we go for four, and a three, and a two, and a one. And we're gonna stack that spine, melt those shoulders. Ah. Now bend your knees and place your toes inside one of the thighs. Okay? We're gonna balance on our sitting bones. <clears throat> So right now, when you balance, you feel all that pressure in your lower back. I want you to keep your feet down, but keep the abdominals scooping so you're still contracting those muscles, okay? It's either feet down or feet off. We're gonna take these legs. We're gonna press into that ring and lengthen them. Shoulders are mounted. Now again, when we rock, you never know what your body's gonna do for you. You know right now, if you're a beginner, if you have a back issue, I want you just to maybe alternate between tapping down and lifting up because I don't want you to rock on your spine, okay? We gently rock back, we tuck the tail, eyes to the belly, and then eyes over the fence, so look over the toes, right? So when you rock, chin to chest, we never rock onto our neck, and I want you to breathe, okay? We inhale, eyes to the belly, exhale, eyes over the fence. Just one more, we'll do a whole lot. Inhale back. Exhale up. Now I'm going to slowly bring it all the way down. My feet are going to go with me. Ah, good. Then I'm going to take my feet inside the ring, turn the pads so they're one on each side. Heels turned in, toes turned out. Again, if you have a back issue, please do this. Trust me. 
Do not not support your lower back, okay? I'm going to keep my head down and my arms reaching long to my side. Tension on both sides of that ring. We're going to do a um, corkscrew. So we're going to go towards our screen, down, away from the screen, hold center. Reverse. Inhale. See how small I'm starting? I'm testing the waters. How's my body doing with this this morning? If I'm having a hard time controlling it, then I definitely can't go bigger. I should probably go smaller circles. Now I'm going to try to go a little bigger and make sure I have that same control. And then I'll start to feel strain in my body. I inhale to exhale. Inhale. Now those of you who are super advanced, because every class is multi-level, we're going to take it up and over. Zip the legs up. Roll it down. Circle towards your screen. Away from your screen. Zip up and over, press into your ring, zip it up, come down, go away from your screen, back to center, and you zip it up and over, zip it up, and roll it down. <sighs> Take the hands to the ring, zip it up, and sit up. Okay, we all make it? Okay, I hope I did both sides equally. Sometimes I lose track. Welcome to my world. Okay, so sit nice and tall again. And we're going to press the heel of our hands into those pads. Shoulders are down. Belly <laughs> scooping in and up, okay? In a perfect world, our legs are straight. But if that's not cool for you to sit up tall, you bend your knees. You can sit like this. I don't care how you sit. Get your spine tall. Okay, so if you're like me, my feet are flexed like they're against a wall in front of me. And they can't go like this, because that means my hips are shifting, right? So there's no shift in my feet at all. I'm going to inhale up, exhale to my screen, one, further, two. Inhale, center, away from my screen, one, two. Inhale, exhale, Remember, we don't keep our spine here, but our neck there, right? We only twist as far as that spine is going. And that was our last one. And we're going to release. Okay, my favorite part of class, and we're onto our stomach. And we're going to do an extension. Ah. <laughs> my favorite part. Because by now, you're like, please, let my spine go a different way. <laughs> so I like just to sit here for a second. My side of my hips, my shoulders are melted. Okay, so I'm going to slide this out for a second. That's just the time. Okay, so I'm going to start, I'm going to start with fundamental stuff. So I'm going to have my arms up to the edges of my mat at the goal post, okay? Now, the tighter your back, the wider your feet should be. I'm going to be sitting bone with apart. My back is okay. Back issues, you can go as wide as your mat if you'd like. All right, so I'm going to come all the way down. And just because I'm laying on my stomach doesn't mean my stomach is not working anymore. So I pull my navel away from my mat, making a house for a mouth. I'm going to press through my hands and my forearms and to lift up my head and chest. My belly button does not come up. Right here, I need to have my shoulders going towards my heels. My sitting bones are gently firing. And then I come back down with my neck in line with my spine. Try that again. So you see that as I'm lifting, my head is just along for the ride. It's not leaving the parade. I come back down. I'm show you what I mean. I don't want to see you do. I don't want to see you come up and poke your head up like this, right? It should be a lengthening spine and come back down. Now, if that went well, slide your hands further back so they're underneath your armpit, okay? So nothing of my arm is touching that mat. I start to lift up my forehead. My nose, my chin, my chest, my belly button is still on the mat. My shoulders have got to be away from my ears. And I lower back down, pulling my navel in away from that mat. And again, lift up. Shoulders go down the back. I'm inhaling up. I'm exhaling down. And last one. Shoulders melt. Don't feel that tension in that neck. Squeeze the booty. And then come back down. And then stretch back just for a brief moment into a child's pose. Scoop that belly 
and round that back. Now, while you're here, take a nice big breath in and feel the rib cage expand on each side. Can you feel that? And then exhale, close it back up. And do that again. You want to feel like your back is getting real wide. And as you exhale, it comes back in. Give me just one more. We're going to inhale. And we're going to exhale. And I'm going to come back onto my mat the way I just was. Now, this can be frustrating sometimes, this next move, trying to get this ring where we want it to go. You want to pin sometimes on the, the clothing you got on, this real silky material. But I'm going to try and take this. I'm going to bend my knee, the closest leg to my screen. I'm going to put it between my glute, the smile of my seat, and my foot. <laughs> I hear the chuckling already. <laughs> and I want you to be propped up. I lost some here. I'm propped up on my elbows, right? You don't have to be. You can be down laying on your forehead, okay? My shoulders are relaxed. Belly's pulling in. And I'm going to feel like I'm trying to lift this leg off the mat. And I'm going to fire that ring five times. One. Two. Try to keep the hips in a straight line. Three, four, five, and put that leg down. Let's change legs. All that, we did five reps. <laughs> so I put it behind that heel, smile of the seat, come back around. Sometimes the one leg is going to cooperate. This might be that time. Okay. So I'm pushing off that mat, shoulders are melted, hips are straight line. I'm going to try and lift that leg a little bit off that mat, and I fire five, four, three, two, one, and release. Reach back to that ring and lay all the way down to the front of your body. And I'm going to let the ring rest each pad to a hand. My legs are together, and I'm laying on my ear so I can see my screen. Notice my arms are bent. Okay? And that ring is just resting there. My belly button is still pulling in away from my mat. Legs together. Now brisk, small, little quick kicks. Three, two, one. Reach the ring for your heels. My feet are down on my mat. Look away from your screen. Bend your arms. Kick. Three, two, one. Over the chest. Love these. And inhale, inhale, inhale. Where's your neck? Is it in line with your spine? Are you looking down at your mat? Yes, yes, and yes. One more each side. One, two, three. Last one. One, two, three. Hold this here. Can you get back a little bit more? Pinch a little more. And release the ring. Ah, child's pose. Nice, easy, slow, smooth transition. Did you feel those? Really, really important, all these exercises are. And I can't say, well, this one's the most important because they're all so important to the health of our body. Okay, so next move we're going to do is we're going to put this ring right in the center of the chest. Okay? And I want you to feel like you're trying to pull away from that ring. So I'm not here on my ring. See that? Like, eh. I'm going to feel like I should be if that ring wasn't even there. I always tell you, tuck that tail slightly, flatten out the lower back, pull that belly in, squeeze into your armpits. There's a lot to go on here. So I'm going to take my leg furthest from my screen and I'm going to extend it out long. Okay? Yeah. And the other arm is going to reach out. I'm going to lift up and hold this. Spinal balance. So when you're balancing, you can't have one hip lifting up higher than the other. And again, I want you to try and pull away from that ring. Pull away from that ring. Now the arm is extended out, slide it towards your screen, and the leg is going to go away from your screen. Then bring it back around. If that's not for you, just hold this balance, right? And we take it away, come back in. Two more. That arm is holding in there, squeezing that armpit, and reach it long. And one more, take it out, bring it back, then return everything home. You should not have felt like all that weight was on that bottom wrist. Mm -hmm. You gotta pull your weight up into your back and your belly. That's right. Okay, so the leg closest to your screen is gonna lengthen back. When you lengthen back, you should not take that hip with you. They're in a straight line. 
Opposite arm is going to reach out and I lift up. And I'm trying to keep everything in a straight line. Feel like I put a level across your shoulders and across your hips. Okay, level, same level. Take that arm away, take the leg closer to your screen, whoop, and then bring it back home. Don't get heavy on those arms that are on that ground. Bring it back home. And two more. Lengthen away. Bring it back in. And one more. Lengthen away. Bring it back in and bring everything back home. If you need a wrist release, come back towards your heels and flip those palms. Because I'd like to do one more thing here on our hands. So if you need that little break, get that little stretch. Okay? And again, you can always not use the ring and go to your forearms. So I'm going to come back out to my hands, squeeze into those shoulder blades. See that's not here. That's a collapse. Here's where I am. Take one leg back. Add the other leg. Yep. Hold that here. Feel like you're pulling away from that ring. Now tiny little down and up. Down, up, pause. Tiny. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Hold it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release that ring. And now I'm going to take my arms behind me and make a cup with my hands. Oh, get a nice big stretch. Okay, let's go on to our backs again. Grab a drink whenever you need one, please. We're going to bend our knees and bring all the way down. Now I'm going to take my ring. I'm going to place it on my left leg. So sometimes I cue screen, away from screen, left, right. This is one of those. Okay. All right. So we're going to take this leg. We're going to hold it here. And I'm going to take my elbow, now that my leg is closer, my elbow on that pad. Okay. I'm going to be doing a single leg bridge. I'm going to lift up and then down. Now I'm going to keep this leg press it into my ring and then release the ring. I press elbow into the thigh, thigh towards the elbow and come back down. My free arm is pressing into the mat. Can you feel this working? The glute, the ham, the quad. It is not feel good. Don't do it. And I go three. It's not an articulation. It's just lift up. Two. Mm -hmm. And one more and bring it down and release. Take that pad to the other thigh, my right thigh. Okay, tabletop a leg. Once I'm tabletop, I can have my elbow pressing in. Now this shoulder here, that's with the elbow, that's on that pad, make sure it's not like this. It should be strong and anchored to your rib cage. Other arm to your side, and I just lift up in one unit, up and down. Back of the arm presses, both shoulders should be heavy on that mat. Back of the head is gently pressing into that mat. Neck is staying long. Make sure you're not rotating internally or externally on your standing foot. Up for two, down for two. I'm pushing into that pad and releasing. Got two more to go. And lift and squeeze and come back down. And last one. We're going to lift and squeeze, come back down, and release. Come onto your side facing me. All right, so sideline series. So we're going to play with this one a little bit. So I'm going to start traditional. So I'm at the very back of my mat. You can pop your head up. You can lay on your arm, but your head has to touch something. You can't be like this, hovering your head. You'll strain your neck, okay? I'm going to take my legs to the front edge of my mat. Make sure your hips are stacked, your shoulders are stacked, and this bottom rib cage feels like it's lifting off the mat. Okay? So I usually have my arm reaching long because we're always trying to lengthen. Today I'm going to have more of a bend, so I just have a little bit more pressure to push. I'm not trying to push it this much further, I'm just trying to feel a little bit more of that so I feel more here. Okay? So I'm going to take my top leg, I'm going to pry it up as I push, and then down. I push that bottom leg down. So 
I'm coming slightly higher than hip height. And as I lift my leg, I'm pushing down into that ring. And two. And then I'm going to bring it to hip height where it's going to stay and flex that foot. Then I'm going to press the ring and then nothing on the ring. I kick, give a push. Back, give a push. You're trying to maintain that leg at hip height, whether it's going forward or back. You can go as far back as you'd like, as long as the hip doesn't go with you. Last one, good, and then stack your legs. I'm gonna take my legs back into a straight line. Here's where I need to move my ring. I'm gonna put it on the mat. My bottom leg will come inside it, and my top leg is gonna come on top of it, okay? And from here, I'm gonna do little presses. Down, two. So I got my heel sort of turned inward like a potty stance. I'm still light here on my rib cage, and I go four more and three. They're tiny presses. Two and one. Now make this a circle, not an oval. Bottom leg. One. Inner thighs. Two. Three. Your adductors, another name for those. Keep that belly pulling in. Four. Three. Two, hold it up. Now the leg inside the circle is going to go forward, back, hold. Tracing the ring. Always stopping at the top. Now reverse it for four. Round to come up. So my glutes, my core, my inner thigh has to be all part of the game here. One more. And then put that foot down. And that top foot is going to come inside. And I'm going to lay on my arm now. All right, so I've got pressure on both ends of my ring. My shoulder's connected to my back. My belly's pulling in. I'm gonna lift my legs up and down. Push down into the hand. Otherwise, sometimes our shoulder is gonna go up with our legs. So you want that opposition of pushing into the mat as I lift away from it. And four, you got this. And three, mm -hmm. and two, and one, and I bend my knees. I'm gonna grab onto that ring. Ah, I'm gonna sit myself up. That wasn't so bad, right? Okay, swing around. So we're gonna do the same setup, okay? We're gonna go right back of our mat. You guys need to have 10 more minutes. Is it going by fast? If it is, you're having fun. If you're like, dear Lord, when's it gonna end? Then yeah. <laughs> that was like my very first ever Pilates mat class. Five minutes into it, oh, good Lord. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I feel your pain sometimes. Okay, and here we are teaching it now. Take the legs forward, hips are stacked, shoulders are stacked, and I got my elbow bent so I can get a better hmm into that ring, right? So I'm gonna press my top leg up as I push that bottom leg down, and I release. So I'm pushing down into the ring, and it's gentle, don't put all this pressure into that shoulder or the arm or the hand. It's about belly and all movement comes from the core. So I gotta make sure my core is on the on switch to lift this leg. And my bottom leg is also pushing down. Two more, one more, I bring it to hip height, flex that foot, I swing a big and then a little push, and then a big and then a little push. If I don't have that bottom leg anchored into my mat, I'm not going to keep my body on this mat. And back, back, shh, shh. Inhale, exhale. Give me one more. Forward, push, back, push, and bring those legs into a straight line. We sit up and put that ring the very edge, my bottom foot comes through, my top leg comes on top, and then I can either be propped or lay on my arm flat, okay? So I'm in a Pilates V, heels are turned in, toes are turned out, hips are stacked, rib cages, boop. here we go, eight presses down, one, two, I want to feel more from my belly when I do my leg, and I go four, and three, and two, 
and one. Now, if I'm just having this leg dead weight, my ring looks like an oval, right? I want to be a circle. Bottom leg, suck everything in. One, two. A lot of muscles have to be in this game right now. Inner thigh, glutes, core, obliques. Make sure they're all working as a team. Four, belly in, and two. Now hold this one up, we trace forward. Round to come up, round to come up. Inhale, do exhale, and then we reverse, and away to come four, and away to come three, around to come up two, and around to come one. Put that foot down, your top leg comes inside the ring, I have pressure on both ends of those pads. Lay all the way down your arm. Now keep this lifted, keep it scooping. And we're gonna lift up eight times. One, don't rush, get that shoulder planted. Push down to your mat with your free hand. And I go three, good. One more, take your time. Four, good. Three, love it. Two, and one. I bend my knees like I want to my ring. Ah, uh, and I sit up. Okay, turn to face your feet. Good morning. All right. So I want to have a little bit of, you guys are like inside a lot of the rings. I want you to go on the outside. I want you to just keep the hands behind you. Sit up nice and tall. And just press against the ring and release and press against the ring and release. It's small, it's small. Out and in, in, out. Pull that navel in, zip up your spine. Shoulders are melted. And three more. Mm -hmm. And two. And one. Now stay like this diagonal. So I'm not here, right? I'm here. Reach forward, grab onto your ring. Walk your feet slightly out. Here I am. For teaser prep, and lower down. Press into your ring, press into your ring. If you can't come all the way down, don't do it. Now draw the chin to your chest, find that lower back, and lift yourself up right here. So I don't keep going and release that, and I press into the ring. So I can only maybe go down to here, and maybe I'm coming back up, that's fine. Pull yourself back up, I'm watching, four, Three, two, one, take it down. Four, three, two, now legs together. This is harder, so please don't take this route if you were struggling with the first one we just did. Legs together, extend your right leg, it's side to thigh, knee to knee, shoulders heavy. So it's single leg teaser, eyes to belly, find that lower back. Inhale up, press into your ring. Those thighs do not leave each other. And again, nod that chin first. Remember that head weighs 10 pounds, don't make it 20. And then bring it down, press into your ring. And again, no momentum. I'm gonna hold it here, briskly switch the legs, come back down. No momentum, eyes to belly, find that lower back. Peel, use that core, scoop it deeper. Press into the ring, exhale, shoulders mount. Nod that chin to your chest. Take care of the neck first. Back, belly, hips, bring it back down. We're just gonna do one more. Eyes to belly. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Put that foot down and lengthen everything away from each other. Get a nice little stretch. Yes. So we're gonna keep the ring sort of where it is on that side of our mat. We're gonna roll onto our front. So we roll. Yes. Okay. So we're gonna do swimming with the legs swimming and the arms reaching long. How good one time. Woo! Okay. Good thing we did our plank already, so we have to do leg full front again. Okay, so I'm holding on to the sides of my ring, and I don't have a death grip on it. My shoulders are connected to my back, so I'm not way out here like this. My core is pulling in. 
I'm going to lift up my legs and my head and my chest. Everything is lifting up. I'm going to hold it here. Now just my legs are going to swim. In one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four. In one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. In one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. And release. Let go of your brain and stretch back. Once again, that child's pose. Scooping the belly and rounding the back. Today we're going to do mermaid and mermaid stretch to finish up. I'm going to come onto my side, face your screen. So we always have modifications for everything that we do. So if you would have a shoulder issue, I would not suggest you have your arm straight. I would suggest that you do this exercise on your forearm, but note you want to keep the shoulder connected to your back, okay? The closer my knees are towards me, the harder it is for my hip. It's doable, but you gotta be really good in the hips. So we usually come out a little further away from our center. I take my top foot and lay it on the floor in front of the other foot. My legs are now, it's called braided, and they're gonna stay in this braid. We can't start collapsed, okay? You're gonna hurt your shoulder. I'm gonna come back up here. My arm is out, my palm is up. I'm thinking of taking this hip and tracing a rainbow with it, and my arm is gonna go with that hip, and I'm gonna follow my arm, okay? Let's try it and see what happens. I lift up on an inhale, exhale, retrace, but hover. And then I inhale up and over, exhale, one more. Hips up, belly in, now gently come all the way down. Then bring the knees closer for a mermaid stretch. Now, if you cannot sit tall with your knees this close together, you open up the legs more. I need you sitting tall, okay? So I hook on, I'm here. I'm gonna go up and over on an inhale. Exhale, my obliques hold me up. Forearm down, I inhale, stretch. My obliques again, pull me up. And hook and stretch. Back to center, and then back over. And we finish our workout today on the other side with mermaid. So we stay in our powerhouse, we swing these legs around, okay? Now again, if you're too close, you're gonna have a lot of flexibility in these hips, so I'm gonna walk them out for the average hip. Take that foot in front. You can be on your forearm, okay? Wrist, shoulder issues, okay? Are you ready? everything in, zip it up, here we go. Inhale, up and over, exhale, hover. Take your time, bring it down. One more, inhale, all the way down. Bring the knees closer for mermaid stretch. Bring that arm up, and I stretch over on an inhale. Exhale, fold. Onto your forearm, keep those sitting bones pressing down, going over that railing, pull yourself up. I hook on, I lift up and over, I bring it back to center, I bring it up and over, I bring it back to center. Good, take the legs in front of you. If you can sit in a crisscross position, great. If not, go with the legs straight out. But this, I like this position, I feel like it kind of releases my hips. This is not an opportunity to think, okay? Just take a nice big inhale up. Bring the hands together and exhale down. Reverse that, bring them back up, inhale. Exhale, float. Those arms are coming down, you're growing taller. Inhale, fill it up. Exhale, center. The last one, we're gonna inhale. Spine grows tall, 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 tall. Good job. Excellent job today. All right, we're serious class this morning. Okay. <laughs> I hope you felt some power from that power circle. All right.